Okay, so Heterosexuality was the first book that we did together, and it's a collection of short pieces about heterosexuality. And we did it because there had been a great many um, short pieces and special issues and um, single chapters, token chapters, as I refer to them, on lesbians in this sort of sea of heterosexuality that was unexamined, unexplored, taken for granted. And then lesbianism was always a thing that was the special thing, the, the special chapter, the special feature, the special issue. And we just thought, let's reverse that. Let's take the thing that's taken for granted and make that the object of inquiry in a similar sort of way to the way in which some black theorists have done about whiteness, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we should also say that the personal was political, but it was very shortly after I had come out as lesbian in midlife, having spent my first 36 years as a happy heterosexual. So I was thinking, and together we were thinking, about what's the difference and how can it happen, and that was kind of an, an undercurrent too. So it was a very productive collaboration, in the sense that we did come at heterosexuality from very different perspectives, me never having been one. <laughs> um, and me having recently relinquished it. And become very aware of what you'd relinquished in terms yeah. of power and privilege yeah. and, and the expectations that the world had. And how utterly different it was to identify as lesbian and how instantly that locked you into a set of oppressions that were, were very distinctive. And that you mm. hadn't known about before. Yeah. Oh, I remember you talking to me um, some years earlier at a conference. Um, and you said to me, you can't know what it is you don't know about lesbianism. And I said, why not? I want to. Tell me. <laughs> said, you can't know. And it wasn't until I came out as lesbian that I did begin to know. So one of the things we did for the special issue was we sent letters out to eminent feminist psychologists that we either knew were heterosexual or presumed on the basis of whatever. So one of the things that we did in preparing the, the special issue in the book on heterosexuality was that we wrote letters to people that we either knew or presumed to be heterosexual working in psychology, in feminist psychology, and we asked them to address questions about heterosexuality like, why is it so common? When did you first realise you were heterosexual? Um, or what does it mean to be heterosexual? How does being heterosexual inflect, if at all, the rest of your life? Um, what does it mean for your feminist politics that you're heterosexual? Um, could you imagine not being heterosexual? Why is it so difficult for many people to change? And um, we got some very interesting responses, um, ranging from people who felt extremely insulted at, at the fact that we'd even raised those questions, um, through to um, people who said they'd have to lie down with an ice pack on their head for a year to come up with the answers, through to the brave people who actually had a go at answering the questions however adequately or inadequately. And there um, were a surprising number of them and, and quite a few of them were surprisingly eminent yes. feminist mm. psychologists. Yes. So I think I didn't quite realise at the time how much of a threatening exercise it was experienced as being. I'm kind of feeling more um, admiring of them for doing it now mm. in hindsight 